So building a glasses selection is one of the things that I'm starting to get into. I'm trying to be really strategic about it when I do this. My goal is not to just buy a bunch of sunglasses or just like nice specs for me to just have and not wear them. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my new in from Elisa Johnson that I have been seeing across Instagram for like maybe a year now and I finally pulled the trigger to do it. So Eliza Johnson is a new designer from what I am seeing and the glasses are pretty affordable so if you are looking for something that's more on the affordable side this is the video for you. I got two that I have been seeing across social media. You guys know Instagram will push out <laughs> what you want um, but one of the glasses were out of stock for a really long time and then they came back in so I wanted to give them a try. So I first purchased the Jane in gloss black now it does come in a white box the box is just a simple box it is a little tough to get out to be honest with you it's just a simple white case her name is not on the case uh, but it does have a little magnetic piece at the top the glasses are in black and it does have like a light brown tint on the frame which I absolutely love glasses are about a 54 millimeter in width the nose bridge is about a 20 millimeter and the full length of the glasses is about 145 millimeters. These are smaller than the high key glasses. They're very, very big. Those are about, I think, I think I said 155 in length. Um, but these are really, really nice. They're light. They're not super heavy. Um, but I think they're nice little glasses. It does have a little bit of detailing in on the side. If you are a girly who likes glasses like this, Definitely give these a go ahead. I like them a lot. They were 140. I got a 10% discount by signing up to the email account. Girls, listen, I hate emails, but listen, when I try to get that little 10% off, I am definitely going to be putting my email address in there. And if they get a little crazy with the emails, I'm just going to unsubscribe. <laughs> okay? So I wasn't going to keep them because the bridge of the nose is a little weird for me because it's like sticking up in the middle. But I actually really, really like them. They're not super big to where they're overpowering my face. I like how they actually sit on my face. I have high cheekbones, so sometimes wearing sunglasses is a little odd for me. But I absolutely think they're really, really cute. They're not that big as far as the length. but they're they're a good size for someone who's a six foot tall woman they're not too small and they're not too big so let me know what you guys think and i'm gonna get into the next pair which i absolutely love as well the next pair is the pair that was out of stock for a really long time so when they came back in stock your girl had to have them and also they actually have these now in a cream ivory color so if you like something like that, definitely give them out. I'm going to link everything below for you guys, um, just in case you guys are interested in any of her glasses. The next pair are the Jane Metal. Now when I opened up the box, I already can tell that this was a lot smaller. Child, listen, I, <laughs> I was a little concerned because I have, like I said, high cheekbones. And for me, I don't like anything that's sitting on my face. So I did take the glasses and put them up against my hand to see how small they were. I wear regular glasses, so I compared them to my regular glasses and they are similar in size. I think my concern was that they were thinner, so it was making them seem like they were a lot smaller. I don't know. Could just be me. But here are these glasses. They're like a nice little pair of specs. Really, really nice. And now that I'm looking through them, I need to check the specs on these because they're clear but I feel like it does have a tint on them. Let me just double check. The lens is like a light purple, it says. Now looking at the glasses, it doesn't look like it has a tint, but it's a very, very light purple. And the specs on these are actually the exact same as the Jane in Gloss, which is 145 in length. The nose of the bridge of the glasses are 20 millimeter. And the width of the glasses from here to here is a 54 millimeter. So they're the same, but I think the Jane and Gloss just looks bigger because of the frame itself is thick. They're really nice glasses. This is something that I will wear to like, I don't know, when I want to just look a little bit astute, right? Okay, going to like Barnes and Nobles and stuff. But like I said, it does have a tint on the frame. If you are a girl who does not want a tint, then these are not for you. I think the tint is good for just driving and just having something to protect your eyes from the sun. So I think it's a win for me. 
Let me know what you guys think. Are you interested in something like this? I'm gonna link these below as well. I'll link these, I'll link, I'll link the website. You know what I'll do? I'll link some of my favorite colors. They also have the Jane in gloss in like a mini. And they're narrower as far as the lens. So if you like something like that as opposed to something big like these, definitely go for those and I'll link those as well. Packaging was good for me. The box was a little tight getting out the glasses but I guess that's normal because she doesn't want them to like be messed up when they are shipped to you. Small plain box. Her name is on the front and on the case. I didn't think that it actually had her name but it is engraved on the back of the case. Nice case. Very simple. Nothing extravagant but I think it's cute and small enough to put in your purse. So just a quick little new in with glasses, what I'm adding to my glasses collection. I'm gonna start checking out some of the smaller brands because those girls need love too. We don't always have to buy everything that is designer. We can definitely support some of the smaller brands. So I hope this video was helpful if you are looking at purchasing something from Elisa Johnson. If you need any more details on any of the glasses, please comment below and I will definitely give you as much details as possible. So again, make sure you're signing up to her email list and get that 10% off girls. <laughs> All right guys, so I am gonna be linking everything in the description box for you guys and also linking my blog for you guys, my latest blog, and also linking my style guides guys. So anytime you're going to be adding anything to your wardrobe, you wanna make sure that you are strategic about everything that you place in your wardrobe. We don't wanna just add things that we're never gonna wear. So thank you guys for tuning in and if you stayed to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com and I'm on tickety tickety talk, <laughs> Coco Styles NYC and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.